feet don't fail me now. I am at Universal Studios Florida for the very first day of Mardi Gras 2024 and I am planning on doing it up big because this is actually the last day of my annual pass and I'm gonna let it lapse for a little bit. I do this every once in a while just to save a little bit of money, let my universal annual pass lapse, go a few months without renewing it. So I am going big today. I got the $150 dining card for $120 with my annual pass. So that is gonna be really, really helpful as I go around these food booths here at Universal Studios Florida. I'm gonna be here for about seven hours, six and a half hours. So we're gonna see the parade. We're gonna try the food booths. I might try some restaurants because that card is good in the restaurants as well. Maybe I'll ride a ride or two, but I really wanna focus on the festival because it might be my favorite festival, even when including Epcot's International Festival of the Arts. They are definitely my two favorite festivals in the Orlando theme park community, but this one might be my favorite. So we are gonna hit it really, really hard. Like I said, don't fail me now. I worked for almost 14 hours yesterday so that I could have the day off to enjoy this festival. We are gonna start with one of my favorite items from last year's festival, and that's the fried green tomatoes po' boy. This is vegan or vegetarian? I think it's vegan. It's got pickles, it's got a sauce. The sauce might make it not vegan, but um, let's dig in here. combination of flavors and I don't think there's that much of a sauce on it it's just really fresh ingredients we have lettuce pickles tomatoes really really good so I'm gonna finish this and then we're just gonna keep going you're gonna get to see a lot of food today <laughs>
saw people I knew and then I was in line for so long to get the Papitas Bravas that everybody bailed on me. So hopefully I catch up with everybody a little later. So this is from the, I believe it's the Spain booth, the Papitas Bravas. It is an aioli on potatoes. It is vegetarian. Okay, the line was worth it. There's a lot of seasoning on the potatoes. They are cooked perfectly, where when you bite into them on the skin sides, you get that little snap. They're not so soggy, but they're not hard on the inside either. They're nice and soft, and you still get a little bit of snap on there. The aioli, really, really good. Nice and creamy. They also put enough on it. Mm. There's like five people in there. One yeah. Really good dish. And I wanted to add something. As an annual pass holder, I was able to get that gift card for $150 worth of food for $120. That's good at all the restaurants. That's not just good at the food booths. So I might actually do a sit down restaurant later as well. But not only do you get $120 worth of food or $150 worth of food for $120, but if you are an annual pass holder, every time they ring you up for food, you're getting your annual pass holder discount. So you're saving a dollar here, 20 cents there, on top of the $30 that you save. Now obviously you have to use the whole thing to make it worth it, but 
Even if you're not an annual pass holder, they do have a $75 gift card that you can get for $65. So just keep all of that in mind. This festival goes on for a little bit of time, so if you're planning on coming down here, just some strategies to how you want to make the most of your time. So don't worry, cause I'm coming. So I'm actually gonna take a little break for a while and do a sit down meal at Finnegan's here at Universal Studios Florida. And I will have that dining review in the future, probably around the St. Patrick's Day holiday. I always like to review Finnegan's around St. Patrick's Day.
and I am just getting started with my experiences on the first day of Mardi Gras 2024 International Flavors of Carnival at Universal Studios Florida. You can look for that dining review from Finnegan's the week before St. Patrick's Day. That's when I will be sharing that. But I'm going to be returning tomorrow with another vlog from the first day of Mardi Gras 2024. We are going to visit the Tribute Store. We're also going to check out the parade and try more food options from the festival. All coming up tomorrow on the Tall Guy Talks Travel with Rick Doherty YouTube channel. Please do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.